Hey there everyone, I just wanted to make a video touching base on the physics of Live 2D and how to make and apply physics to your VTuber model. I am going to show you the setup of my rig, how I made the physics generally and just show you the ins and outs of how it's all set up. So for the physics, what's already programmed into face rig at least, there is something called hair move back, hair move side and hair move front. These three parameters are specifically for physics. I'm not sure if there's a way of adding more parameters for the physics. Do let me know in the comments below though if there is a way of doing it because I'd absolutely love to know the process and maybe I can make another video on it in the future. But let's just kind of go into what we've done here. So I have the hair warp deformer front. If you can remember one of my other videos where we've been talking about how to actually make the head turn happen, this was one of the deformers that we used to move the hair into the right perspective for each head turn. As you can see here, we have another deformer within that hair deformer that we used for the X and Y parameter. I called this one Right Hair Front Physics and it contains all of my emotions that is connected to my hair front fringe here. So this one here. We don't have to worry about these emotions right now anyway. We can go into it in another video because we're still yet to do special poses. But the main part you would probably end up having in the physics deformer is this, this actual piece which is the piece of the hair. Now the reason why we have to add this new deformer is so that it can adopt the properties that we've already got going for this hair front deformer here that we use for the X and Y parameters. So if we don't do that, sadly, we'd have to go into every single keyform to make the physics work. So we don't want to do that. We want to just cut straight to the chase and just add the physics without having to edit any of these X and Y parameters at all. By creating this deformer, and putting it within the hair front deformer, we don't have to worry about doing anything with the X and Y parameters. Now that we have this new deformer, we can actually use it for whatever parameter we want. In my case though, because this is called hair move front, I've made every hair piece from the front adopt this parameter here in a sense. So just to show you what I mean. So basically with every hair piece that we have as a deformer that had also been used in the X and Y parameters, making this additional deformer for the hair physics is quite important. So you do that with literally every hair piece. So I obviously have this hair piece there, that's going to need its own uh, deformer for the physics, same for the middle bit here for the hair, and so on. Like literally every piece has a dedicated deformer for the physics of the hair. If we were to look at these parameters here, they have three keyforms. So every everything that you have created to make physics as a new deformer has to be keyformed. Now the reason why we have three of these is that it does actually allow for a little bit more movement. We can set physics settings to sway one speed where we can have the second parameter here sway a different speed. So that's why we've got different parameters. So it gives us a little bit more freedom to apply different kinds of physics and timing, whatever it is that you're wanting to add physics to, if that makes sense. So just to show you what I've done, you can see that I've added some hair swaying, five parts of my hair. So we have the main front fringe, we got the other bangs as well that is behind the fringe, and of course we got the little middle tuft for the character's hair there too. The middle keyform is the default position for the hair as well. And the left side is the hair swaying to the left and the right side is the hair swaying to the right. Now, if we look at this one, this is specifically swaying two things actually. It's swaying the, the feathers and some of the beads for my dream catcher around the neck, as well as the bangs for my character too. So the ones that are behind the front bangs. And then we got hair move back and that also sways the other beads for my dream catcher too along with the main swaying of the back of the hair as well that's one way of bundling together physics for two things really not just the hair but also 
things like accessories in this case. So it is possible to bundle them together, but just bear in mind that when you go to add physics, actual physics to this, it's going to adopt the same speed as say the back of the hair in this case. So if it's swaying like this, the beads are swaying in the left and right, and the hair is swaying the left and right, whatever physics settings you have for the back hair and the beads, they are going to stay the same speed, which is not a bad thing at all, but just something to bear in mind if you're looking for variation of physics. It's quite an easy thing to do um, in terms of actually making the, uh, the hair sway in this case. It's just a simple case. If you can actually see the deformer here um, change, I basically just sort of stretched it out a little bit to the side so that it straightens out the hair a little bit from the left and then when I go to the far right I actually curled it in quite a bit uh, angled the deformer so that it kind of goes inwards like that it's the great thing about deformers generally is that it allows you that kind of deformation and freedom to do such things and of course you don't have to do anything for the middle keyform it just stays the same so all, you ha all you'd have to do is that really there is also an element of exaggeration, like that's a lot of exaggeration going on, but then it gradually stops being as exaggerated as say the front fringe uh, with these bangs here. But yeah, like if you were to actually put all the parameter settings to the far left, you can see that all of the hair pieces are swaying to the left like that. So I'm just showing that just in case you're wondering if they all had like variation of movement in a sense but they don't they all sway to the left and when you go to the far right they all sway to the right so i'm going to show you how you would actually input the new physics parameters and make it a physics file for your model so if we go into modeling in the toolbar up, up there and into open physics scene blending settings everything is set up for me right now but everything will be grayed out for you if you go on add, you can add your own physics group. So if you add a name, it could be hair physics in this case, because we're using mostly the hair or whatever. You can write that in. This is for the pendulum, specifically for these settings here. You can choose whether you want it to be uh, something preset, like the hair short, hair long. Uh, these are already established physics. I'm not really sure what these are for, honestly. So I usually keep that blank. Once you have actually made a physics group, you can go here and you can add the parameters for specifically X, Y, and Z. It's not in the list right now because we, are, we currently have it selected, but this is kind of important because otherwise if you don't put anything in this uh, field at all, it won't move at all, so. And of course, this is all the settings for the pendulum. This is what gives your character uh, physics. You can, again, select from a preset physics. If you do choose from this drop down, just make sure that you click on import and it will show up in the settings right here and here. You can, of course, make your own. So if you go on add, you can just play around with the settings and alter it. It also changes the pendulum so at least you'd be able to see visually the lines will also change depending on the settings that you have in terms of reaction shaking duration all that sort of thing uh, I, I recommend just playing around with these settings just so that you know exactly what they all do and their purpose uh, but then of course we need to definitely go into the output settings because this is the most important part we need to add the actual parameters for the physics that we that i shown you earlier so again it's not here but it's the same kind of format just add the hair the physics parameters into this field everything that you want movement and physics to be needs to be in here so in this case we have the three uh parameters that i shown you earlier that needs to all go here and by that point, you should have physics. So if I start moving my character, you can see that the hair is moving. You can see the pendulum is also moving too with my character. Uh, when she looks up and down, there is movement too. And when she rotates her hair, it also moves as well. But that is the basics of physics, really. It's just about these particular parameters. They're quite important, but just to also 
let you know that when you go to export you have two settings you can either go export as mark free file which will export everything or you can go on export physics settings and that will give you the actual standalone settings for the physics that you can just add to your folder or wherever so um, if you are only wanting to export your physics settings that is the selection to pick uh, if you're just exporting the entirety of the rig, then you go on export as mock free file. Now, when you go to export, again, make sure that this is ticked for the physics file too. Because if it isn't ticked, it won't export the physics.json. So that's quite an important thing. Like, make sure that's ticked before you do the full on export for your mock free file and such. So that's the video. I hope that helps explain things a little bit more. It's a bit of a quick one for the physics generally, um, but I just wanted to run through exactly what I do with physics with the hair. Since we have already touched on deformers and how they work in previous videos, I figured that it, I could get away with making a short video for this, but hopefully that makes some sense on how it all works. I hope that this was useful and thank you all so much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you later. Bye guys, take care of yourselves. Bye bye!